hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you here today it's very early in the morning and um, i need to um prepare chick piece beans so i have the canned one um like seriously this is my first time of doing it i really don't know how the taste is going to be i just want beans my normal nigeria africa beans but to cook it and get it done um faster so i i now think of using the chick beans i have in my cupboard for a while so i'm going to use my chick beans this is and i'm going to be using my bell frozen pepper i have the green the yellow and the red here yeah? And I'm going to be using um, bacon, smoking bacon. I'm going to be using that as well. I have my chopped onions here. I'm going to be using that. I, I want small, medium chopped onions. And I have my garlic and ginger paste. And this is my kosher egg. Um, this is the new one I mixed together. If you want to know how I mixed it, this is not only kosher egg that is here i mix some together so the leftover i pour it here so that i can make use of it you can check my uh, video below you will see how i mixed it and um it's supposed to be beans and plantain fried plantain so i'm replacing my normal beans with a chick beans and i'm going to be frying my plantain with it so let's get started oh i forgot I can't eat without spicy um, food. Okay, guys, I let me hold this. So, guys, I want to add the soy sauce, soy sauce dark into it. I, I, as I said earlier, this is the first time of doing the using chick beans, so I really don't know how the taste is going to be. Um, and this chili, crunch chili. So, let's get started. I'm going to opening up my chick beans can and I'm going to drain the water away guys it tastes like beans this is my first time of trying it it's it's a gift from someone during the Christmas it tastes like beans there's nothing different from it it's even half shell I think this is going the right side now. Let me get spoon. So, um, I really don't know the type of oil I should use. Uh, I have carrot oil, orange oil, uh, avocado oil, coconut oil, and vegetable oil. Um, I think I will go with vegetable oil because I'm frying with vegetable oil anyway. So just a little bit, just small of that. I think I need to drain my bit. Okay, guys, I changed my mind. I'm going to be using the liquid water in it. I really don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm, I'll get to something. So I'm going to um, fry my bacon. I'm going to pour it into the pot. I've forgotten that all of my gas... Okay, no problem. So my my bacon is on the gas now. I just add a little bit of vegetable oil. And I'm giving it a little bit of toast right there and there i 
I like this the smell and the taste of um, smoked bacon. The smell is nice. So right here, I'm going to be adding my onion. I'm going to toast it around. I'm adding my pepper, my sliced bell pepper, the frozen one. Then I'm going to add um, this my spice have um, chili in it, but the chili that was in it is not that very hot chili that I really want. So I'm going to be adding more of my crunch um, chili. I don't know I'm addicted to spicy food. Like seriously, I don't know. So I'm going to be adding just little of my one teaspoon of my um, seasoning so at this stage I'm going to add my my garlic and um, ginger paste then I'll mix again Wow, I'm scared of this. No problem. I'm going to be adding just little. Then I'm going to add my things I chickpeas oh wow then I'm going to mix it together I'm not going to be adding the liquid. I really don't want it to be watery. Oh. I said I changed my mind before, but now the liquid in it is, is okay for me. So this is nice. So I'm going to be leaving my chick paste to, to cook. So guys, I'm going to be cutting my plantain. So just because I want my plantain to look much, I'm going to be dicing it. Because if I slice it like this, it's not going to be much. So I'm going to be dicing it. And it's going to cook faster.
so i'm not going to add any salt to my and my chickpeas is cooking as well i want to crush i'm crushing part of it i'm not going to crush all just like one fourth of it now when we cook um beans that we want it mochi a little bit so that's what i'm trying to do here so i'm going to be frying my plantain now my oil is already hot I like this um this um spoon is for barbecue but um i like it for frying in the house because it's long and then uh, if it's splashy um if the oil is flashy it saved me it saved me that using the small spoon to turn like this the hand is quite long so while my plantain is frying my beans is done the liquid i said i'm not going to hide i think i'm going to hard it now because it's dry it's dry can you see let me taste it Oh. tastes like real beans you can't believe it so if you really need to eat beans it takes longer time for it to dawn for you to pick the dirty out of it for you to wash and cook it takes time but this way is just done in in i think in 10 minutes your beans and plantain is done so my plantain is done i like when plantain is is brown a little bit so and my beans is done as well So my uh, my plantain is done. I have to take this out. So my my chickpeas is done. As you can see, it's done and nice looking. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth. I can't really wait to dig um, into my food. You can see just like normal beans. So I'm going to be tasting it now. <laughs> hmm. In 10 minutes or 15 minutes, your beans is done. It's not to that anyway.
your beans is done. Can't even sit down before digging into it. Okay, guys. I really need to sit and balance. Balance up. <laughs> Give it to me. Hello, guys. My daughter has taken my spoon from me. I have to use my hand. So that I'm going to finish it on camera. This is so nice. You can go ahead and try it out. There is no difference from chickpeas, chickpeas with our normal beans. Um, I have the dry one here for so long. I really don't know what to use it for, and I hate wasting food. So I just leave it in my cupboard. I think I have some ideas of what I'm going to use it for now. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and press that notification button so that you'll be the first person to get my video. Thank you so much. Thank you for your love. Thank you for being there. Bye.